this is unlike any car you've ever seen before. Because no one has ever thought this way about a car before. This is strength and lightness. This is an interior that exceeds the promise of the exterior. This is technological innovation in overdrive. This is the all-new Jaguar XJ. The stunning result of taking a very different road. So Richard, are you just into your first professional pre-season as a professional rugby player? How's it gone so far? Yeah, it's been uh, yeah, it's good so far. Three weeks hard training. Body's been a bit of a mess, but getting, trying to get used to it now. And uh, first uh, experience of professional rugby, but you you packed in an awful lot of rugby at uh, Ewick over the last few years. How was that? Yeah, it's good. We um, we scrammed in two games a week, so and a lot of conditioning and training. So, uh, so yeah, it's hard coming from that to here, where everything's uh, set out on a plate for you, where you. A lot of it's do it yourself at uni, but it's really good. Yeah. Was it a difficult decision trading the student life uh, for professional rugby life? Nah, um, that was always my ambition, just try to get my degree in the back pocket first and then um, then have a go at it playing professional rugby. A degree in sports coaching, I gather? Yeah, so um, I won't be offering any advice, but I've got it in the back pocket if needed. That's the future taken care of, but the immediate future, I suppose, is just making the most of the opportunity at Leicester, isn't it? Yeah, well, I've got my mum in a one-year contract at the moment, so I'm just trying to establish myself down at the club. Um, just mix it with the big boys, to be honest. What was it like mixing it with the big boys on your first day when you've got international guys on yep. the next peg in the dressing room and new signings coming in? How was that? Yeah, it was good. A um, bit starstruck for the first couple of days, but yeah, it was really good getting like, getting to know them. They're all pretty, oh, they're all sound guys. So I just get down to earth. So nice. And I gather you know one of them. A lot better than the rest, Kieran Brooks, a former school pal, and now your housemate. How's Kieran? Yeah, he's fine. Yeah, um, I know Kieran from school. I've seen the uh, ended up going out with my sister when I went to uni. He's good. He's um, he just needs a bit of housework to be honest to keep him keep him clean and not mess, making noise and eating. All so you're doing your training at Over Park during the day, and then you're training Kieran in, in the yeah. evening. Is that right? Yeah, he's um, a bit of a handful at night. So if he has a nap in the days, he's, he's like a baby. You just got to put him to bed. Keep him quiet. And looking forward to the start of the season, does that seem like it's uh, just on the horizon or is it a long way away just yet? Um, it feels like a long way away with every day of training being harder than the next and everything getting more intense and more things to learn. But um, yeah, can't wait to get involved and hopefully get a shot this year. And as a player, what would the Tigers supporters expect to see from Richard de Carpentier? Um, hopefully making breaks, going around people and um, making big tackles, fingers crossed.